so hi everyone so in the last lecture we learned about you know the uh, two types of market uh, two types of orders you know that we put to buy and sell you know and then after that you know we can also learn uh, like this is stock market you know stock market it is just like you know like you have bought uh, uh, you have bought something you know some coin and then after that you just uh, want to stop your uh, loss like uh, you can you can just give you know stop market order and then after that you know you can also give the amount uh, the the price you know where you want to stop this order you know so this is just like you know stop stop loss you know like you have bought something and then if you want to put the stop loss then you have to go in the uh, sell section and then just you have to select stop market and then you have to give the price and then you know you have to give the amount uh, for which amount you want uh, you know for the stop loss you know where, where you want at which price you want uh, like if the trade you know goes in the opposite direction then uh, you just your uh, your asset you know or your coin it will be it would be you will be able to sell it at this specific price you know then uh, it would be just like you know you have put stop loss you know and then after that you know just like uh, uh, yes it is you know yes you give here the trigger price you know uh, that in at this price if it goes then automatically your uh, you know your asset your asset or your coin it will be sold at at the specific price but at the market price it will be sold so this is stop market and the stop limit stop limit it is just you can give the trigger price at which point it should trigger and then after that you have to also give the limit price that at which at this point if it goes then uh, after that uh, your coin should you will be able to sell it at the limit price limit price means you know your uh, specific your specific chosen price you can uh, you can give here you know and then after the after this triggering then when the coin it will go to this price then it will you will be able to sell it you know so and then after that you know it is uh like you know trailing stop trailing stop it is just like you know trailing stop loss you know so what is the difference between normal stop loss and the trailing stop loss the difference it is that uh, you know the stop loss like for example you know i can just show you the chart uh, for example if you open the trade at 17400 like you know this current price if you open it you know and if you say that uh, uh, if the coin goes to 17200 uh, you like you know if you um, if you buy it here you know and then with the instead of going upward it starts going downward and then when if it's 17200 then uh you know you, you can you cannot you know bear the loss further like at this point yeah you will be you want to go out of the market you know like you can you want to sell it at this point you know because you don't want to have more loss so this is the so it don't moves it is you know normal stop loss it's it stays here you know like for example uh if the price goes up or down up or down like this you know it's it it will remain still but for the trailing stop loss you know uh if you say that if the price goes to eighteen thousand, then uh if you say that it should uh move two percent up after that you know like like or for example you say that if the price goes to uh from 700 to uh seven uh, 17,791 up to this place if it goes then uh, it starts moving so like this if when it will go up 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 so it will also go up 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 so two if you say two percent then two percent you know like but according to this movement it will be moving upwards but remember that if, when it will be moving upwards price is moving upwards then it will be it would be moving upwards but if the price after that you know like if it goes up and then starts coming down uh, then uh, it will not move down it just goes up in the up, uh, upper direction you know 
because trailing trailing uh, you we use trailing stop loss so that we can maximize our profit you know and uh, after and also like for example if the trade goes in the wrong direction then you can come out at the entry price so this is the uh, like how we use trailing stop loss you know so uh, so just like this and this is take profit limit take profit like when if it goes to this price then the, your uh, your coin it would be you would be able to sell it you know at this specific price you know uh, like at the market price you know and just like this you know take profit limit this is also same you know tr trigger price you give and then after that at which price you want to sell it you know so these are the some things you know you would need to uh, now in the spot you know for for trading you know spot trading so in the next lecture we shall learn about you know the future trading you know how we can uh, trade in futures you know uh, for in spot trading you just want to you will buy and you will you will buy at the lower price and you will sell at the higher price uh, so it is not possible that you sell it and then after that uh, you buy so no this is not possible this is only you buy at a lower price and you sell at higher price so for spot trading this is uh, you know this is like this you know but in the future you know you can trade in both the, in in both direction you know so we shall learn in the next lecture and if you want to learn uh, individually one to one then you can also contact me personally and also if you need uh, we can work together you know for two weeks after learning you know and if you i can tell you i can give you the signals you know that you can open the trade you know and then after that if you find satisfactory for two weeks then we can uh, continue further you know and we can uh, collaborate with each other you know so thank you very much thank you all so we see in the next lecture you know.